Hello folks, uh, welcome to the channel. Thanks for watching. Uh, today we're going to be working on the October 2020 NRL 22 Course of Fire. The Course of Fire we're going to work on today is called the Trick or Treat Smell My Feet. Uh, you saw the beginning of the video, the course description. So uh, let's get right to it. All right guys, uh, let's get going. So I'm using SK Magazine as my ammo. Uh, I have 1.2 mils of uh, elevation dialed in and about 0.1 mils of wind correction. So let's get going. I don't have candy <laughs> uh, out here because it's pretty darn warm and that candy will start melting out here. So what I have is brass casing as uh, candy. So let's get going. Trick or treat. Okay, this is awkward. Okay. See the target. Does it say which one to hit first? So Think it's random. Oh, this is such a bad position for me. Oh, let's redo this. Impact. <laughs> Miss. Trick or treat. <laughs> Miss. Miss. Oh man, that wobble zone is pretty wobbly in that position. Trick or treat. Oh. Oh. Miss. Miss. Wow. <laughs> Trick or treat. Seems like this stage is all about being able to get out position and reposition yourself. And right now, I'm having a tough time getting in a stable position. Miss. I think I only hit the targets once. Miss. Whee. Trick or treat. Uh, we gotta think of something else here, but a little better. Miss. Miss. Oh, that was horrible. <laughs> that was horrible. <sighs> For some reason, my timer didn't go off, so I'm not sure what, what's going on here. So let's redo this. Let me rethink a position here. Uh, what works best here on top of this five gallon bucket? 
Okay guys, let's try that again. Uh, the kneeling position, I tried it first, didn't work out. The bag in front of the bucket didn't work out. Uh, so I think laying down with the bag on the back part of the bucket, buck, the opening towards me, may be a little bit better. I can support the rear of the rifle a little better. We'll see, we'll see if, if it improves. I think I only got one hit on that last run, so let's, let's try it again. <whistles> Trick or treat. Yeah, I'm not sure if this is any better. We'll see. Yes. Oh, yes. Uh, too much of a wobbles. Trick or treat. See, do it without the bag. See if that reduces the height a little bit. Uh, not good. Not good. I'm rushing my shots. Uh. Trick or treat. I think the bag was much better. <laughs> Add some weight to the bucket. Uh. <sighs> so. Uh, wasted too much time trying to find the one again a stable position on the target. Uh, way too much of a wobble zone. Um, need to figure a better position for me. So let's uh, let's kind of <laughs> find out which position works best. So is it kneeling? Let's see. Man, that is pretty uncomfortable. <laughs> Still a little better than what I was experiencing in this position. So let's let's see. There's a bit of like I almost have to. Well, the rifle, it's almost off my shoulder here to do it this way. So, the way my body is, it isn't, I'm not a big enough guy to be able to pull this off. And if I try to do it this way, I feel like I'm burning a lot of time trying to get it steady. And this is, trying to hold it steady with my trigger finger I'm trying to get stay with my support arm uh, just not there yeah I could do the I just can't get I can't get uh, flat enough to do it that way so I have to almost kind of sit on my leg Then I get a lot of, I'm in such a different position that I get a lot of shadowing in my scope. 
I could zoom out a little bit. It's Probably zoom it out too much is my reticle gets so small. I think that's going to be the position with me sitting on sitting on my leg uh, to get a good sight picture. So let's let's try this one more time and. Uh, and we'll call it a wrap. <laughs> All right, guys, here we go again. Let's, let's do a little better this time. <whistles> Trick or treat. <sighs> so I'm sitting on my leg. Seems to be a good, better position for me. <coughs> no, that doesn't help. Miss. Miss. That's not a good start. Trick or treat. Now, the course of fire didn't say how far the table was. Uh, it also doesn't say which target to hit first, but I would say uh, you want to go for the big target first. Try to get that point. Miss. Miss. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Trick or treat. Uh. Nice. Miss. Ooh, that's not good. Trick or treat. So, so far zero points, guys. <laughs> that's not good for stage. <laughs> All right. Let's get at least one. Uh, uh. That was a zero for that stage. <laughs> Alright folks, you saw the little practice session I did with that particular course of fire. Uh, you saw the struggle I'm having with uh, trying to get into a stable position with that five gallon bucket right side up um i don't know i i i scored i tried it three times i think i only scored 10 points out all three times uh it does need a lot of work on my part to find a a a comfortable and uh stable position i think laying flat my belly is not the answer i feel like the butt is sitting basically on top of my shoulder so it's almost like uh, free recoiling the rifle and i couldn't support the rear enough to uh, keep it stable and keep the reticle within the uh, uh, the wobble zone of the reticle in the target so it was just bouncing all around it um, the squatting with the me kind of sitting on my leg kind of thing that kind of worked out much better for me uh, it still has a pretty large size wobble zone for me it's bouncing out it's obviously bounced out of target because I, I I missed I missed the target <laughs> every single time so anyways the point is I need to work on it it's it's gonna be a challenging stage for me so anyways Thanks for watching, folks. Uh, we'll catch you on the next video.